It's a Sunday, January 21st, 2018. A 44 second video is uploaded to the Minecraft forum with the caption, Found that way back again. Despite the wording, Veil2 underscore had never posted before, but their only other comment gave people the first clue to their disappearance. The most insane unsolved mystery in Minecraft. Left under the red arch. Where is Veil2 underscore? Veil starts the recording. Bedrock in every direction. And judging by their inventory, this is not a new sight for them. Even though we only get a tiny glimpse of things outside, we've already seen so much that can help contextualize things. So immediately, a big question arises. Where is the Red Arch? Commenters begin to speculate. Dragoon asks what the Red Arch is and that it's not even there. Ninja Pope asks, anyone see that thing around the corner? To which Ordisi answers, it's a chest. Acker asks for an interview. On a whim, I took a page out of Acker's book and sent them a friend request and message on Discord. They were offline, but there was the slightest chance I could get some answers from them. In the meantime, though, Google was the key. Nothing popped up on images, save for a few different bedrock escape rooms, some random help requests, and lots of generally unrelated things. Until one picture caught my eye. Wait, no way. You see that too, right? It's like a... Stronghold. So just to really confirm my theory, I found all the structure pieces of a stronghold and cross-referenced them with the original video. Yeah, that's like half a library. I think these chains right here are this room right here. There's just tons of libraries, really. Look at that. So the issue that got me stumped, one of the rooms just doesn't exist in a stronghold. This L-shaped room. Huh. Who put that there? But then, I got sent a message that changed everything. So, what does Acker mean? I don't know, actually. I came up with Acker on... I don't think I remember. It's just always been that way. Okay, that's all good. I was just gonna use that as, uh, like, an introduction. Um, okay, where did Veil2 underscore go? You're gonna ask that. Yeah? That's just wrong. Okay, so I went into the interview with a couple questions ready, but this was, like, really weird to me. Acker, who knows more than anyone about what happened, is just shooting me down. So I changed gears. Okay, what do you remember? That's it? You're not asking the right questions. Well, what should I be asking? Is that not the obvious question? Like, what do you... Oh, he left the call. Great. Is that an IP address? Okay. Vale's server was... normal. Just a bit old. The, the place looked like one of those buildings you would make in the first version of Minecraft PE. Like when you only had bricks, glass, and like wood. It must have been 10 years old. And yet it was still online. I checked out all the bases, but the only one that had a sign said it was Wraths, so no lead there. But there were tons of structures to check out. One pyramid had bedrock on top, there were some super inefficient stairs, there was this structure. Even weirder was this castle that had the brightest bedroom I've ever seen. Overall 10 out of 10 server, very sketchy. I just love the monument to greed sitting right next to spawn. Is that all gold? Holy... But when a skeleton killed me and I couldn't find anything, I came up with a better plan. I should find the stronghold. 1.12 makes the whole beating the game process a little harder, but with some resources from around the server and an hour or two of free time... So let's consider this real quick. The Minecraft world is a blank canvas of broken rules, and yet, strongholds simply don't spawn under spawn. That was the final nail. There was something useful down there. I started by once again cross-referencing the room pieces by memory to see if any of them were out of shape, like that L-shaped one, or if I could find a similar area to Vale's video before they walked into that room. None of them were shaped like it. None of them were out of place, except one room at the bottom of some stairs. That is definitely not in a normal stronghold.
What the hell? What the hell? Upon opening the world, my guess was something in this bedrock stronghold thing would be able to lead me to Vale's whereabouts, or give me some clue to know if he's okay. With an empty inventory, I ventured out a little bit. Okay, the height of this room would definitely pop above the surface by now. Despite some reservations and you know the fact that Vale went missing because of this place, I knew I just had to find that L-shaped room. Okay, it definitely looks like a stronghold. Just a little more cramped, because there's, there's not exactly a way out. What the f***? What the f***? What the f***? That's... That's not there. There's no way that's there. I put those chairs there in a single-player world. Who is f***ing with me right now? It was hard to grasp how this happens. Like, even if it's just as simple as placing blocks, how are those blocks getting placed in a single-player world, and why do they match my single-player world. I wanted to see if I could just break a path around this room, but cheats weren't enabled. I tried to open the server to LAN, but it would immediately swap me back to survival every time I tried to do game mode creative. I just... I just watch more of the video. I had missed something. Right back at the start of the world, by the ceiling, were slits. Small windows to peer outside, but with no blocks, I couldn't hope to see out of it yet. Yeah, no, I could jump that. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Until I remembered that someone in the comments noticed a very important detail. Or DC9 saw the tiniest fraction of a chest. They were scattered all throughout the map. I just hadn't seen one yet. I set out into the rooms and halls, and with the help of my trusty notepad to jot down the way back since torches were hard to come by, I found one. Oh, let's go! Huh, it might be the stronghold loot table, too. Damn, this place is getting... weird. Those are my... interview stairs. That was the final nail. Seeing my own build that I made last month on this five-year-old world save was, uh... I shifted my plan. If this world was, like, changing and bending my things, what happened when Vale was here? Was this cacophony of bedrock cubes just some rendition of Vale's experience? Did their stronghold turn into this... web? The new plan, with an ender pearl from the stronghold loot table, I could just shoot it out of the window and get outside to see what this place did to my stairs, and if I could take advantage of it. I hadn't gotten lucky on the chest rolls yet, but somewhere in here, there'd have to be a few. And with them, I'd be just a tiny bit closer to finding the red arch. Huh, why is that door open? Do they like naturally spawn like that? <gasps> Oh, no. I don't know if I have enough blocks. Oh, wait, hold on. That's doable, that's doable. Die. Because then I can... 
go find a tool and then use my notepad to find the exact place again. That's how I get out. place is not trapping me that easily. I did not expect to be doing that. I'm gonna be real. So what is this place like actively antagonizing me? And I can't even find it. Are you are you actually kidding me? There's no way it was just sitting right there. Oh my god. Hey, look, there's going to be one over here too. Okay, maybe not that, but... I think I'm just going to go back there and drown myself. Okay, whatever. Now I can, like, actually use the notepad and find my way back. Even though I had used the notepad for an unintended purpose, the intended purpose was to read it backwards and work my way to the library tower from there. It was on this backwards journey that I really started to wonder and worry about certain things. That door into the stair trap, why was that open? In fact, some of the doors in general, even back on Vale's SMP, they were halved. That's not just a coincidence. Was this a message? A footpath on the bedrock for me to sniff out? To be fair, I'm guessing you couldn't leave footprints on bedrock, but you get what I mean. I wonder what the right questions even are. What did that guy mean? All right, a few more turns, then we should be golden. What? That should be the, that should be the door. That's the exact way back. What? Somehow I just knew this would happen. I was lost with no way back to the window. Wrong. There was still a trick up my sleeve that this place couldn't steal, and all it took was one button. I had gotten video footage of the library's coordinates. It was about a 200 block trek to find Z, and from there I could spin a left and go find X marks the spot, you know? Oh! Uh, yeah, I'm not the best at this jumping thing. I guess that's kind of an easy way to get to the X. going on here, I could only take this as a sign. A sign that I was making progress. The closer I got to this answer, this red arch, the closer this hellscape got to trapping me. But I've got more resilience than I can handle. And for me, this was a sign to never stop. Well, that's not exactly where I wanted to land, but I can get there from here. Plus that andesite is much more useful than bedrock. What the hell was that? I don't even want to know. Okay, I want to go check that door that the sign was in. It was seven from the right, 
and four from the bottom, if I remember right, or if I remember left. Left under the red arch. Wait, that's an archway. And that's where I'm spawning each time. I just need to go back, get inside, and go left, I guess. But I am not going near that water. Wait. Something's breaking my bridge. Vale is gonna have to pay me good for finding him. This is not worth it. And now I don't even trust stairs. Uh-oh. Eh, uh, you know, that's one way back. I can just use this place against itself. Oh! Huh. Okay, it's just a minor setback. That arch hasn't moved, and it isn't going anywhere. I've found my way back before, I can do that again. I guess I just have to keep an eye out for mobs now though. But hey, I'm resourceful. Just follow the coordinates, get back, and go left under the red arch. Left under the red arch. Left under the red arch. There's no way. One obsidian, one block, two TNT, Two pistons, a lever, a trap door, a bedrock breaker to get under. Now, getting those is a bit of an interesting challenge. Blocks are easy, and obsidian is possible to make here. The fountain rooms have cobblestone, but I have andesite too. Hell, I can even use cobblestone for a lever. Pistons take iron, redstone, cobble, and wood, which I can get from libraries. Turn those into sticks for a lever, and grab a trap door. But the issue, TNT. More specifically, sand. That doesn't naturally spawn anywhere in here. And without it, I'm down... Actually, wait a second. That might just be sand. I'm, uh, definitely gonna save that for last, though. The creepers were the easy part, so I just had to get enough wood to... There's never been any wood. Wait, hold on. I get thrown back into survival when I try to do slash game mode creative, but what happens if I just... Slash, give myself wood. Yo, nice. Oh my god, wait, this is perfect. Jeez, okay. Well, I'm not swimming. Whoa. Oh, weird. This is just left from the door. Two TNT. That is one try to do this. One try to go under the red arch. Please.
wonder if his name is actually Veil to Blank. Is that it? Am I supposed to go left after I step through? So, Vel2 underscore, what's to do with this video? Is it some type of map? It just exists. It's a place, an idea, or maybe just a video. I'm not sure yet, but... This thing, uh, Odyssey 8 or something, sent me? There's something there. But, what? Why look for it if you don't know what it is? It's just worth it. I don't know if you get that. Well, what's the get? You're not... asking the right questions. Okay, then tell me. What are the right questions? <laughs>